Our story begins with two guys who grew up fishing the Pay Lakes of Southern California for stock trout. Using ultralight spinning gear, they honed their skills and eventually had a lot of success. Fishing under the shadows of freeways and the rush of the city, they made a promise to themselves that one day they would test their metal where the stakes were high and the fish were legendary. Montana, a state with formidable wilderness and legendary waters, where the trout are wild and fly fishing is king. It's going to be more than a test of their skill. It's going to be a test of their will. Welcome to Wild Montana. Red. <laughs> 3D. That's a nice cutty. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Wind knot. After doing some searching and dealing with a dreaded wind knot, we finally found some holding deep that wanted an extra slow presentation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trick them. Oh, pretty little cutty. Yeah, like when you hook into them, they're solid. And you know they're not that big. This one's got all kinds of cool spots on it. Yep. Good looking fish. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good 
Man. Yeah. Another cutty. Yeah, he's fast. Yeah. Yep. Another cutty. Nice. Super strong for his size. Yeah. At least they put up a good fight. Here you go. Another cutty. This time on goldfish. Since the trout seem to be holding deep, I decided to try a little vertical jigging with a 1 16th ounce mini jig. Certainly not ideal, but I figured it was worth a shot. Right. Yeah. Red team go, red team go. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> it was a little bit better quality. Watch the grayling. <laughs> Be fucking stoked. Yeah. He's planning his next, next move is all. Yep. fish. That's a nicer one. Nice. <laughs> I'll take. Ooh. Wrong one. As we worked our way around the lake, a couple things became clear. These fish are really powerful for their size, and all the fish we are to catch this day are feeding off the bottom. Pretty 
You just got so much power. Oh, dude, forget it. <laughs> Good Lord. Another pretty one. Oh, bro, <laughs> stick of butter. What's it on? On, um, what you call it? On, uh, locust. Oh, right on. It looks like the grasshopper, that's why I did it. Can you grab the net? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, my Lord. He's trying to saw me off of this shit, though. I gotta get him out of here. Stick of butter, bro. Oh. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Thing. <laughs> oh. Oops, sorry. Look at that, guys. Edison River Brain. Wow. He's right here, pristine. Pristine. Let me get a picture of him, guys. I'll show you. Just give me one second. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was tight. Goes. Sweet. Rad. Hell yeah, dude. Freaking rad. I'm gonna give you one of these, like, trust me. Yeah. They think it's a, a little a grasshopper. Yep. There's a lot of them right center, all right there. Oh, okay. See how they keep flashing. See how they flash. Yeah. Is that a bow? Yeah, it's a bow. Oh, yep. Nice. 
a little bit for you. It's a real nice boat. technique for today was simply casting upstream and working a 1 64th ounce mini jig slowly down with the current. Flyer. There you go. <laughs> My camera on? Yes. Okay. Dude, it's awesome. Right? They're badass. Huh? Yep. He's a stud. Yeah. I like to use that current. Yep. <laughs> they know how to just like let their weight. Right. Oh. Yeah, something big actually jumped back there. You know, it's that shallow water. Yeah. <laughs> right. Here he comes. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Later. Hell yeah. <laughs> As we worked our way down the Madison, our senses were almost overloaded. Everywhere we looked showed great promise and had the potential to hold a legendary fish. Another Madison River Rainbow. Oh boy. Get out of that current. Pretty little fish. <laughs> that was tight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's so funny. He balled out. Watch when he turned around and went that way. Yeah. Yeah, he jumped so high he almost crossed our lines. That was so tight. Oh yeah. I'm just watching. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> yeah, just give them a shave and unhook them, put them back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I think it's a bow though. Oh, you saw one? Yeah, it's definitely a bow. Better size one though. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Nice chunky one. Oh my God. Dude. Beast, bro. I saw him come out with this big old white mouth and just hammered it. He's got a big old hook jaw. <laughs> he looks like that one you caught this morning. What's that? He looks like a hook jaw like the one you caught this morning. Yeah. I got the hook set on video too. Sweet. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. See if we can keep him here. If I get him on a shallow spot, yeah. Yeah. Try not to spook him. That was the same one that I went after earlier. Dude. Oh yeah, he's a job. Yep. Looking at me. There he is. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Dude. Okay. <laughs> oh god that thing's beautiful bro Dude. oh look at that guys look at the hook jaw on him wow oh. Oh yeah, good looking bow. Oh yeah, that's a tank. Damn.
Yeah, get out of there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> to get that boat. Nice. Yeah, that thing's gorgeous. Right? I'll take those all day. Hell yeah. Bite at Hebgen was tough, to put it lightly. Using a 1 16th ounce brightly colored mini jig in a deeper section of water, Estevan was able to coax a few big rainbows to the net. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Good fish. It's crazy the power of these things, man. Right. <laughs> Oh, damn. Feel the power. Dude, this is something good, bro. This is different. Oh, it's a fucking huge sucker fish. Oh, no. He's like six pounds. Oh my god! Look at this thing. <laughs> what the? Bro, <laughs> look at him. Oh, whitefish, yeah. That's what it is. Huge, huge, huge. Whitefish. Oh, he's like six pounds, dude. Big ass whitefish. That's strong too. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Yeah. You see, that's more head shaky. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. I got that on camera. <laughs> I know. I can see him. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's so red. thing looks awesome. It's got white tips too. Look at that thing. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Hell yeah. Fat. Seen some fish though.
go. You're up. You're not very big. No, he's decent. There you go. I think I offended him when I said he's not very big. Yeah, so much glare, I can't see what it is. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Yeah, he's decent. He was just swimming towards me, I think, when I hooked him. Yeah, I think it's a cut. Damn. Homeboy just won't give up. Oh, dude, I don't know what this is. So it might be a splake. That's all spotted up. Well, it looks, it looks kind of like a Mackinac actually. But I don't think they have Mackinac in here. There might be a brook, Lady Brook. There's a, oh no, it's got some red spots. It's weird looking. There you go, beautiful fish. Yeah, yeah it looked kind of splake like. Yeah, that's why the female brookie. Yeah, it hit right on the paws. Right, exactly. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Henry's is well known for holding monster fish. Whether it's the Yellowstone Cutthroat, the Brook Trout, or the Cut Bow Hybrid. And that is exactly why we are here. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Oh damn. Sweet. As some of you may know, fishing unfamiliar waters can be challenging. But after some searching and a lot of trial and error, we got into a good bite and were consistently getting fish to the net. 
Little did we know, on this day, Mother Nature had plans of her own. delay. Fish will be even more fired up now. Following the storm, the bite seemed to completely shut down. So I decided to try a 1 16th ounce ball head with a 2 inch minnow and a much faster retrieve. minnow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was going a little faster. <laughs> That's funny. I think I got bit. <laughs> Head right for your boat. Well, it's under you. I don't know. 
up. Using ultralight spinning gear and four pound line can be a gamble when fighting a monster trout. The slightest mistake and your trophy will become nothing more than a fish story. Yeah, he's just holding like a thing. Barely see him. There he comes. Yeah, he's pretty good size. On that locust? That's the other thing too, using a 16th and six feet of water <laughs> with weeds. Oh, I think he broke me off. That was a big fish, dude. Yeah, he broke me off. Oh, that was a big fish. Just went thud. Nah. I got it down by the clip, so I don't have to retie. Let me check my leader, too. The leader's good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think to check it, because when I got the fish in, the thing was right in the corner of his mouth, so I was like, okay, he didn't chew up the line, but he might have.
friggin' got me. Yep. Brown town. Brown. Oh my. He's pr he's prettier than the other one. Holy crap. Scan that in. Got him, guys. Brown town. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Change triggers came down here in the gallant. Sure, I'm gonna take a picture of him and we're gonna get him going. When we arrived in Montana, we were strangers in a new land and were unsure of what the rivers and lakes held for us. It definitely wasn't easy at the start, but we learned, adapted, and it wasn't long until we found our rhythm. The lessons we learned and the memories made will last the rest of our days. But the greatest lesson was one we learned long ago. Sometimes getting out of your comfort zone is exactly where you need to be.